Hey, in today's video, I'm going to show you a power up I built to support one of our bank clients with PPP using power apps and flow. So if you don't know what PPP stands for, it's Paycheck Protection Program. And that is a small business association loan that helps businesses keep their workforce employed during the coronavirus. So some of the challenges that we face with this, just the sheer number of loans that we anticipated getting through, the system was able to process thousands of loans, building an app that can handle that. And then also the agility that the app has to have in order to accommodate the changing requirements as this thing is developed and requirements are being built at the same time. We also needed to quickly ramp up our infrastructure on our BPI site. And so I'll show you a little bit about that, but we had to get around some of the list item view threshold limits that we hadn't faced before uh, because now we have thousands of loans coming through with that number quickly reached 20,000 before we knew it. And we needed a solution to be able to get the appropriate data on the dashboard. Uh, we were able to quickly assemble the app within 16 hours for them to begin processing loans. We enabled them to manage a complex and evolving workflow as live situational changes happen from the government. So this power up was built off an existing framework we established at the client called BPI. It's a SharePoint site that has common task processes and comment lists, as well as individual process lists and then unique power apps for each one. Uh, so I'm gonna start with BPI and then I'll jump into the app. This My BPI dashboard is a custom SBFX web part that I built and it allows all of these tasks and processes to be displayed in one place. Now, the special thing about this web part is it's just using a CAML query to get any tasks that are assigned to the current user or any tasks that are assigned to a group, which the current user is a member of. So CAML was kind of the only solution for that. Uh, then you have the My Processes tab, which this is anything that I'm an owner of or I'm a co-owner of, and the definition for ownership varies by process. Uh, the framework behind the scenes, if I jump into site contents, we have have the BPI comments, processes, and tasks, and then I have my PPP list right here. If I jump into the list, you can see capturing a lot of data for the individual list item, but if I go back to the task list, it's a little bit more high level. So I have my task name, I have the title of the process item, what the status of the task is, uh, what process it's related to, and then the IDs. So that allows Power Apps to pull in records dynamically, everything's kind of linked with with these two columns here. The dashboard will drop off completed tasks and it's only gonna show you everything that's in queue. So let's jump into the app. So if I wanna kick a PPP item off, I just click the link here and it's gonna open the app for me. Now this app is in a new entry form and it's also an edit form. And then there's some various tabs that show and hide based on where you are in the process. The business tin actually checks for existing loan numbers in the system. So it's going to say that a duplicate loan was found. Now, one of the big things that this client had issues with is they had so many loans coming through and then also so many loan officers processing these loans that things were just kind of getting jumbled up. So we came up with this duplication check and it just simply shows you that there's something else in the system. Now the loan amount field, there's a couple different ways you can do currency conversions and power apps. This one is a little bit more simple. Uh, you can just kind of add a button to format it and then I can add my file. I'm gonna pull in the actual PPP form. There's an experimental PDF viewer feature. So if the user doesn't wanna just open it up uh, each time by downloading it, they can open this up and it'll automatically open. Then they have all their controls at the top. Uh, so if I wanna jump over to my notes tab, I can add a general note for this and then click save. And there it is, it goes in my note history. Now, all of this has not been saved to SharePoint yet. Uh, basically what happens is the app will save the information and then it will save anything that's connected to it, like the notes history uh, using for all and patch functions. So I'm gonna go ahead and submit that. Here, if I go back to PVP, now I can see that my new business is down at the bottom and it's in the member QC stage. So one cool feature that we did for the app is we allowed auto assigning. So if I jump into this one where it's gonna auto assign it to me as soon as I get in here. So here you can see the new tabs appears. So if I go in here, I can see all of my different tasks and you can see this one's been assigned to me. Now I can reassign it to a group. I can accept, decline, and then put it on hold. Now, if I jump over to here, this whole tab is sort of locked until we get through these stages. So you can just click through each, uh, except there's some different pop-ups that happen so that you are capturing the data that you need and then you go ahead and save 
and it brings you back to the dashboard each time. So now you can see here, I have my uh, new task for payroll QC. So it went on to the next stage. So one of the things I wanted to highlight was just the flexibility of Power Apps. During the lifetime of this PPP process, we've changed this workflow many times. So there's been different tasks on this tab. The adaptability of Power Apps to just sort of create these conditional rules to say, okay, well, we don't need this task anymore. Let's hide it. And then if for anything that's still out there, let them complete it, that's fine. Uh, so we were really able to create eight different swim lanes. Now we're down to six because as this thing evolved, they found efficiencies and we updated it on the fly. Never really loved doing development uh, while in production, but in this case, you know, with these quick ones, uh, sometimes you have to. So that is how we supported PPP for this bank client. I hope you enjoyed it.